Okay, so as you're probably aware of, if you've worked with much duct work in Revit, uh, the out of the box round to rectangular transitions look like this, okay, at all levels of detail. Whereas a lot of times when we represent these in a traditional, traditional CAD plan, it looks like this, where you see those bends in the duct. Okay, so if you want that sort of representation in Revit, um, let's head back over to Revit. It, it requires adjusting the line work in the family. Fortunately, it's not that hard to do, but it does take some uh, care to do it the right way. So I'm going to uh, quickly show you what I've got hidden here in this particular view. So I basically have hidden all the uh, the blends and the uh, symbolic line work and the model line work and all that just to make my life a little bit easier as far as visibility and you would think I'd go into annotate here symbolic lines and just start drawing the line work making sure that I'm clicking at the intersections of those reference planes once I do and load it in the project Again, the hope would be, under normal circumstances, that you'd have you know, those nice triangles that would kind of be bigger and smaller depending on the size of the tr duct transition. But, as you can see here, uh, it, it doesn't stretch and pull as desired. So how do I get that to happen? Well, let's uh, make an adjustment here. I'm going to head back over to my family. I'm going to delete this line work we're going to unhide everything at least briefly and I'm going to uh, essentially change the duct width or one of these values so we're not symmetrical and what this will do is it'll pull the line work or the reference planes off of each other because that was really the issue we were using the wrong reference planes as a reference so what I'll do now is I will as quickly as possible try to hide this geometry so that way we can select the right geometry here and I can kind of see my connectors there I'm going to very quickly just as a guide so I can pick the right spots pick those intersections and I believe let's see I want to make sure I get the right one here there we go okay and let's hide those connectors just make sure we're not selecting any geometry that we don't want to use as a basis or these model lines either okay so now that we've got that set let's go back to annotate symbolic line I'm going to make sure that I'm selecting the intersections here and let's turn on chain for the rest of this okay okay and one more Alright, and then hit modify, get out of the tool, delete, 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 and delete that one. Let's kind of go ahead and um, change this back. And now that I think about it, I did that wrong, right? Because uh, really we want that line work to go to this midpoint and not to the uh, these intersections. So give me a moment here while I fix that symbolic line from here to there to there okay, and then click modify and that should be better so that's what we have now to find out whether this really truly worked I'll go back in the family types dialog and let's adjust this back to its original dimension we get that nice symmetrical triangle going on again looks good Okay, so that's just part of the flexing and testing the family, and we'll load it into the project. I'm just going to go ahead and override everything here. And as soon as we do, you know, Revit's going to think a little bit, and it basically gives us those, uh, those triangles that we were looking for. 